Hi, Andy Portes here. I'm going to show the 64-bit version of the Windows 8 Developer Preview uh, booting via Boot Camp on a uh, June 2010 Mac Mini that I've very recently upgraded to 8GB of DDR3 RAM. I did actually record uh, a video previously when it just had 2GB of RAM and it had the 32-bit version of the Windows 8 Developer Preview installed and basically I showed the same thing uh, the boot up and the sh uh, shutdown speed and a few other of the um, the features and changes which I'm, I'm not going to repeat here uh, because like I said they're in the other video um, but what I will do now do uh, is um, switch on the Mac Mini so I press the power button now it's going to boot straight into Windows 8 and when we see the date and time with the new sort of lock screen of Windows 8, it, it is actually fully booted. Alright, and there you go. There it is, if you can believe it. Uh, Windows 8 is now ready for me to log in, so I'm going to do that. Uh, sorry for the shaky camera work, by the way. Uh, recording this on my iPhone 4, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm don't have very steady hands, so I apologize. So yeah, this is the start screen that replaces the start menu. Um, and when I first saw this, the one thing that I, uh, sort of flummoxed me, I mean, I love the very clean look and, you know, everything looks very simple to use, but I wondered where all programs was hiding. So when you want to launch a program that may not necessarily be on this screen, uh, that isn't stored in your computer, where do you find it? If you actually put your mouse uh, down at the bottom left-hand corner, you get almost like a mini start menu. You have to go to search, and then uh, it's already highlighted here. But if if not, if it ends up being uh, clicking on uh, something else, such as this, uh, you have to click on apps, and then all your programs show up in this list, uh, sorted by uh, alphabetical order. Uh, and these are all the apps that are included on the Windows 8 Developer Preview. Um, there may actually be a couple of extra because I've installed the uh, boot camp drivers so that uh, Mac features like the eject button on the keyboard uh, of the Mac you know work with Windows 8. Um, I did have to install those in the compatibility mode uh, of Windows 7 if you uh, have a Mac with the developer preview and want to uh, install those drivers to get it to work you do need to run it into um, Windows 7 compatibility mode for the installer to actually work. Uh, but yeah, uh, here's Windows 8. Runs very fast. The other thing I, I didn't show is that, like I said, many of these programs are not on the start screen. Um, but if you want them to be, like say for example you want quick access uh, to my computer, <laughs> like that, um, what you have to do is uh, again, I will get uh, all programs up and then didn't quite do it right just then but you right click on what you want and then down on the right hand side at the bottom there's a pin button and what that will do when you click the start button again to get back to the start screen and you scroll all the way over computer is right up here at the top and you can actually click and drag and move this stuff any way you want and you can even right click again and uh, you know you've got advanced options like properties, map a network drive, disconnect network drive and manage. Uh, obviously it's context sensitive so each app might have different options in the advanced menu and if you don't want something to be there anymore you can just click unpin and as you can see it's gone. Um, so yeah I love the, the customization and the ease of, ease of use. 
as you saw and as I showed in the previous video that I did of this, uh, the desktop is still there and it's very reminiscent of Windows 7. Uh, similarly, you can still browse the file system just like you used to in Windows 7. And again, it looks very similar. The only difference really being is that now pretty much everything in Windows has adopted the ribbon UI that we saw in um, Microsoft Office 2010. And, uh, you know, I actually really, really, really like the ribbon UI um, uh, for Microsoft software at least. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's very task orientated and very easy to uh, do things on Windows now. I, I think it's a lot more self explanatory and uh, cleaner as well. Um, you can also click this arrow next to libraries to have quick access to uh, the desktop, home group, uh, your user folder, the computer network, control panel, and recycle bin. That's true to, you know, um, other versions of Windows as well. You know, you could click the leftmost arrow to jump from place to place uh, in the address bar. But uh, again, I just thought I'd show that because that's actually the easiest way to get to the normal control panel, uh, as I showed in the previous video as well. But again, I'm, I'm not going to show absolutely everything. Um, but uh, yeah, that is uh, Windows 8 Developer Preview. And uh, it is the 64-bit version I'm running with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm now going to show the shutdown speed because that is, I mean, it, it's, I can't believe how fast this version of Windows is. I think even on any type of PC, um, you know, as long as it meets the system requirements, which haven't changed from Windows 7, you really are going to see performance gains even on the 32-bit version. Um, uh, this version of Windows is so much faster and I really can't wait for it to come out uh, when it does at some point in 2012. But uh, to shut it down, you go to the uh, start menu thing at the bottom, you know, hold the mouse in the bottom left corner, go to settings, and then there's power, a power menu, and then just go to shut down. And there we go, it's shut down, it's done, and that is the Windows 8 Developer Preview 64-bit version. Thank you.